Hello Scrappers, this is Lorraine from Card Creations by Lorraine.blogspot.com and I'm so excited because this is my first video and I have been working on calendars using the designer calendar Cricut cartridge. So let's get started. This is the one I'm doing, or actually have done for the month of April and uh, he's so cute. This little guy is so cute. Anyway, I've been uh, doing all my layouts on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This uh, particular one I uh, got from the Safari Kids stack and this is what the page looks like before I started embellishing it. And I liked this one because it has a nice border and I'm planning to incorporate some of the colors that are along the border and I'd like to that we had this little animal in the corner here and um, that's that's what inspired me to do this layout. I have the the grid, the calendar grid on the far left and that is cut at five and three quarters of an inch and that is on page 47 of the owner's manual. You can have two uh, frames to select from and this is the one that I chose for this particular one. And uh, the numbers were cut at half an inch. And I glued all those down with my Zig 2A glue pen. We'll move on over to the top section of the calendar. And um, the days of the week, I uh, actually had a border strip that I cut. And not from the cartridge, it came from another uh, paper stack that I had and actually the paper stack that I used was from the Recollections uh, Autumn stack and I like this stack because at the bottom of each page it has a border that you can remove and use it anywhere on your your layout. So I'm using these two um, on my calendar. This is the sheet that I used to cut my grid out and I also have a section on the right side that I added for notes. But this, this uh, strip I added above the calendar grid. And that's when I placed my um, days of the week on. And um, they were cut at, let's see, I'm trying to think. Days of the week were cut at 3 quarters of an inch. And then I uh, cut the um, uh, umbrella at 8 inches. And I did use some inking around the, the umbrella. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but I did do that. It does add a lot to it. And uh, another thing that I did was uh, I added some foam tape to the uh, underneath side of the umbrella. That way it would sit up a little bit. And uh, this is what I used the foam mounting tape and it's photo safe. So I guess I can use it on my photos now. I hadn't actually noticed that until recently that, that they're featuring one with that will be photo safe. I like to buy this. It's a large roll, relatively inexpensive, lasts a long time and uh, you can cut it to whatever size you need uh, for your, your pop-ups. When I cut the word April, uh, I used the script feature at 2 inches, and I also used the script shadow at 2 inches. And I did put foam tape at the back of that also to give it a little bit of, of height there. We'll move over to this corner. I had this space left, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But um, I decided to make a section so you can write notes. These scores sometimes are a little small, and it's hard to get every, all the information that you need for that particular day. So I had a little section here on the right side for notes. And uh, the yellow strip here, I cut at 2.5 inches by 5.5, and, and then a small green strip at 1 inch by 2.25 inches. That's the one for April. 
Now on uh, all of my calendar layouts, I'm also doing a mini calendar. And here's the one that goes with April. I am um, adding them to this CD case. Just open it up. And that's where I'll be storing all of the mini calendars, and that way it'll be easy to keep track of. And, and when the month is over, you can just flip and go to the next one. So I've got them. I've got January, February, and March, and April all stored in the case. And uh, I'll give you the dimensions for the little calendar. I'm cutting all of them out uh, the same size so that they'll fit in the case. And the calendar grid are all cut the same size also. So the, the base is cut at 4 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths of an inch. And then the calendar frame is cut at 3 and a half inches. The umbrella I cut at uh, 1 and a quarter inch using the script feature. And uh, let's see, yeah, 1 and a quarter inch. Not the script feature. That was for the month of April. And I did do the the shadow for that also at the same size, one and a quarter inches. The numbers, I have been cutting out all the numbers to go on these little mini cal calendars. And um, it's a little tedious. So I cheated on this one. I just wrote them in. You can see. But the other three that I did, I did cut them out. So I'll be flipping back and forth. Just depends on um, how much time I have. This little um, lion, I also cut from the Safari Kids stack. They have a full page of nothing but little animals. So I cut the lion to match the, the larger um, calendar that I did. And I'll just go through some of the others that I've done. Here's the one for April, excuse me, March. I did cut these numbers out, and uh, one uh, feature that I do like is the double digits are attached, so it is cut um, as one piece. So that makes it a little simpler when you do decide to cut each individual number out. Here's the one for February. And for January. And I do love the fact that you can store them all in the CD case. The CD case does come with an additional piece on both sides. And uh, if you just take the hinges off, and you'll be able to remove those two pieces so you just have a plain case and nothing to distract you from the view of your calendar. So what I do is I just display a little calendar on the easel and I'll be putting it on my desk. Isn't that cute? I think it is. Okay, now I will show you some of the ones that I've already done. I have all the directions, step-by-step -step instructions uh, on my blog, so feel free, free to visit, and uh, if you have any questions, you can just leave me a message on, on my blog, and I'll be happy to answer it for you. Here's February. And March. Well, I hope you can join me for the rest of the uh, calendar page layouts. And I really am having fun making these calendars for you. And I thank you for watching.